What is up guys? Today we're going over all the cooling and other problems which I had in last video, going over what all the problems were and how I fixed them. Hopefully you guys can learn something today and it'll be an interesting video. Catch you guys later. Alrighty guys, so from last video, uh, on the gauge cluster there, we had no tack and the temperature gauge wasn't working. So I wasn't doing much driving because I did not want to overheat that. Um, also, the fans weren't kicking in, so I knew it was most likely going to overheat. So basically, we did the whole cooling system. Um, we did all the hoses, replaced them, except for the small um, little one way down in the middle there, that short one, just because... Um, that one, I don't know of anyone that makes it new and it looks good. So left that go. The other ones were pretty dry. I had, um, actually blown that top one before if you saw that video. So did the other one there, um, and then started replacing all the sensors. So did this sensor right here. Uh, this is the one that actually goes to your temperature gauge. Uh, it's got a light blue wire with the green stripe on it. Uh, you can check if your sensor is working. Uh, how you do that is you ground it to, um, your head. And that actually, you'll see your temperature gauge actually go up. Um, you do need someone else to help with that. So that was kind of interesting. Um, I grounded it and it um, didn't go up. So I knew there was something wrong with the gauge cluster, which I ended up getting that rebuilt, but it still didn't work. So I also did the sensor at the same time. One note with that, I'm not sure if someone could give some input here, but I did ground it through, um, or not the positive, obviously, but I grounded it through um, the battery there and ended up, um, someone said that actually might have been too much, that, that actually might have messed up the gauge cluster in the first place. I have no idea. But anyhow, that's just a note there. Hopefully you have two people ground it on your um, head there. Um, so that's the one for the actual um, gauge down here in the bottom. You can see that sensor way down there, that big one. Um, that's a so the sensor's a three-prong. Um, some of them are two-speed, I think. This is only one, but it's still the same exact three-prong, just the one does not get used. That's for the fans there. Uh, I replaced the sensor, and now that is working. So that's awesome. Um, I did hear it, they don't kick on, like, very much until the gauge is way up. But from what I've heard, that's fairly normal for these cars. So, yeah, just curious um, what you guys know about that. Um, does that tend to always kick on the gauge? It seems like it gets up farther than it should. I like to see them kick on like in the middle, but it's getting up high. But either way, it hasn't been getting up too high though, just obviously because it's cooler out. And also put the thermostat in and did like um, one that comes on at a cooler temperature. So hopefully that'll help with cooling problems. Uh, one other side note here. Um, I had, I just replaced this boot here yesterday. Uh, the old one there, if you had seen a previous video, um, it was actually electrical tape. There was a slit in it here and replaced that and also drained the gas out because I had replaced it before, but that gas, once again, it was several months old and it was going bad. So between the gas and then uh, this made a huge difference. Um, the car is running great now. I actually drove it to work a few days this week, so that was really fun. But yeah, really check out these boots good. Um, it's after, these have some kind of mass airflow sensor there. So it was messing um, it up there and confusing it and it was not running right at all. So really happy with that and all my cooling system stuff. Um, gauge cluster, 
does work now, so that's really exciting. Um, Seb from Cools German Auto, which I know I've talked about his stuff before, just totally hooked me up. Um, I'll show you guys next video. We'll do get this thing actually driving, and you guys can see how it is. But awesome to see temperature gauge there working real good. Gas gauge was working great before. Um, speedometer was working great before. The tack, that's really cool to actually have that. I got rid of that cheesy, crappy um, Walmart gauge that was right there because this thing's working awesome now. So that's really exciting. Um, that cooling thing and not having working gauges was really just keeping the car from actually being able to daily it. So really cool to actually can daily it now. Um, yeah, just that boot made a big difference running too. So that's just really exciting. Um, all that stuff there. If you guys have questions about how um, any of this cooling stuff works, hopefully I can help answer questions. That's what I'm here for. Hopefully you guys learned something today. And yeah, we'll keep going. Um, next time, we'll definitely have to drive the car I'm really excited about how it's running. Um, we're going to mess around with the suspension some more. It's riding really stiff, which I think actually, this, it's a lot of sidewall there. So, and I want to keep it, because it's OEM wheels, I was keeping a little bit more of OEM plus look, keeping it fairly high. But I think we got to just go down because right now we're just fighting the struts. Um, and my I have it up so high that the springs are actually like compressed and it's riding so stiff. So we're going to drop that down. Um, and then it should be it's very drivable now. So that's really cool And then we're gonna drive it for a little bit here and then park it pretty much not for a whole winter But for a little while and finish up the interior get the headliner in um, Tighten up a few pieces there on a paint a few pieces inside and you guys will see that and then we're gonna come to back to the outside um, Get the correct flare on here do a striping kit um, buff wet sand the whole car and get this thing looking really sweet. So really excited about that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I know I haven't bring, been bringing a lot of content to you guys, but now that we're back from the wedding, getting settled into the new shop here, um, we're just going to go to the next level here and really settle in and bring out a bunch of content and get a bunch of stuff done on this car. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the support. And catch you guys next time for some more Mark 1 fun.